What's up, it's actress Daily Bread. Uh, this is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. You were tuned into the right place. Make sure you stay tuned because for the next seven days, for the next seven days, I am talking to my experienced actors. My experienced actors. I have plenty of things for my newbies. I put something out for my new, my new and aspiring actors. I did that last week. Um, but tonight and for the next seven days, I'm talking to my experienced actors. So stay tuned. This is Actors Daily Bread. This is your, if this is your first time watching, I'm going to welcome you. Oh my God, this is episode 127. Um, please forgive me as I work two screens here. I'm trying to still master it. Um, but, you know, here's the thing. This is Actors Daily Bread, and I'm so excited. Like, I have so much to share today. I'm like, I'm, I promised myself to stay under 15 minutes, which if you have watched me ever, that is a challenge. But I have to because... I don't want to give you too much. But if you are new to me, and if you're new to Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you to all my replay watchers who are going to watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So I'm Christine Horn. I am a professional working actress of 20 plus years. I'm a life and career coach for actors. I am the founder of the Booking Magnet Academy, which is the number one virtual training center for actors who desire to master booking starring roles on television shows on a consistent basis. If that's you, I need you to stay tuned. In the last year, I've helped over 500 actors learn how to take control of their career. Stop waiting on the sidelines. Stop wishing and praying and hoping on a dream that somebody helps them. I've helped over 500 actors take control and turn themselves into master marketers and booking magnets. And I have something really great to share with you this week. For the next seven days, whew, like I need to slow down. Instagram, I said this earlier, the comments go so fast on Instagram, I may not see them. So I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. I see you commenting. DM me if you have a really pressing question and I don't get to it. But uh, but Papa Bug, Sonya, Dawn, Hyper Vader, y'all these names on Instagram are crazy. But hey, I'm back on Fa I'm back on Facebook. What's up, TC Rose, Farah, Tanisha, Janelle? What's up? So listen, for the next seven days, I am going to be talking to a specific subset of you guys. Um, let me see if I can move. I'm gonna move my Instagram people right here. But I'm going to be talking to a specific subset of you. And, you know, it's already, it's June. It's June in the Valley, which means Christine is back to sweating until we move. And I, or I get an air conditioner in this part of the house. <laughs> so, you know, I do a, a lot of you are, I love all of you and I'm so grateful for all of you. And I get to coach a lot of you who are brand new, green, have, have a hope, a wish of becoming an actor. You know, I believe that there's three groups of actors that I have the opportunity to coach and talk to here online and in person. Um, you know, group one is, you know, struggling. You're trying to figure out how to become an actor. You're kind of dusting off that secret dream of being an actor. It's like very deep, deep down. You know, you're not, you're afraid to tell anybody. You're afraid to even say you are an actor, you know, you don't know how to get your foot in the door. You don't know how to get an agent. You know, you don't know how to get your first audition. You know, uh, what's up, really? I see you watching. You know, you, there's, that's my first group. I feel like my brand new, my brand newbians, which I like to call you. Oh, I'm so stuck in the 90s. I just want brand newbian to come back. <laughs> so I got my brand newbian actors. And then I feel like I have my, my, my third group of actors who are living off of this career. They are working full-time as actors. Um, you're consistently booking coast, uh, not co-star, you're consistently booking guest star and series regular roles. You're just looking for a way to find the balance in your life, balancing your life with your career. Things are going great, but you're always looking for ways to improve. So I feel like that's my third group. But for the next seven days, I'm not talking to group one, my new and aspiring, though you don't have to turn it off. You can still watch and hang and, and inspire. And I'm also not talking to my third group. For the next seven days, I'm talking to my group two. And my group two, I feel like you're in the middle. And I often don't get to talk to you often. And I've been doing a whole lot of work. 
and a whole lot of introspection and thinking about how I can serve you more, which is always what I'm, I'm working on. Um, and I feel like I've neglected my group too a little bit. And so for the next seven days, I'm talking to you and let me know, I'll let you know if you're in group two, my group two actors are, you're in the, you're in the middle. You've had some success. You've booked some co-stars. You might've booked a guest star. Hell, you might've booked a series regular for a show that didn't get picked up. Hello. Amen. Somebody, but you haven't been able to duplicate it. You know, there's more. You haven't found the consistency though. And that's what I want to talk to you about for these next seven days. Something in my eye, I got this fan blowing, y'all. Y'all, June, I, I talked to one of my girls in Texas today, and she was like, girl, it's like 8,000 degrees. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus, it's June 4th, June 3rd in the valley, and it's already hot. I got to get one of those air conditioner units if we don't move before the summer's over. But anyway, let me focus. Focus, Christine. And I'm with you, Instagram. I see you. Um... But I feel like I haven't really talked. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Trafina. Thank you for joining. I feel like I haven't talked to my middle group, and that's who I'm talking to for the next seven days. So that's you. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Share this with a friend. Share this with an actor who's also in the middle. Let me tell you what the middle looks like. You know, it'd be really cute if you were still 21, and it'd be all right if you could live with eight people in a house and pay $90 a week for rent and bills weren't a problem. It wasn't no issue. But what I know about group two is you're grown. <laughs> you're grown. You got bills to pay. You like to eat. That's the problem. Y'all like to eat. You like to eat. You like to pay your bills on time. You like lights. Y'all bougie. You like lights and food. Y'all like power. Y'all like Wi-Fi. <laughs> Y'all a little bougie, that middle, y'all, that middle. You've had a taste of success. Maybe you've co-starred. You've had a recurring co-star in some things. Um, but then, <laughs> Facebook, y'all cracking up. But then what happens is, real talk, is you're just not where you want to be. Instagram, I got to move y'all again because I got notes all over the place. What I know, all jokes aside, is, um, and I'm not crying, I'm just wiping sweat. So welcome to the sweaty Christine. That sounds really wrong. So I'm gonna just keep it moving. Act like I didn't say that. But <laughs> you, that middle ground is not really comfortable. That's what I know. And <laughs> you're striving for more. I know a lot of my middle ground actors, you work still work in a survival job. So that may be a nine to five, it may be a five to 10, it might be an overnight shift. I know about that you're not getting enough work to, to, to sustain you. You've had success, but you're like, okay, well, how do I keep this going? How do I live off this? You know, and I, I know the pain that you're in. And so hang with me because the next seven days, I'm going to be touching on a lot of different things. Um, just to give you a heads up and here, a heads up too. y'all have a busy week. I have three Emmy events to go to. I have I'm going to an Emmy event tomorrow for 911. Anybody watch 911? There's one for Handmaid's Tale on Thursday, and then there's one for Atlanta. Shout out to the show Atlanta. That's Friday. So I'm busy. So I'm not going to go live the same time every day. Um, what's up, Kim and Ro? I see you. I'm not going to go live the same time every day, but I am going to go live. So make sure you turn on your notifications on your phone or on your device. I'm going to do my best to go live on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. Um, and so let me just give you some of my notes. So today I'm going to be talking about how to create a guest star and hire mentality. Okay. So guest star series, regular mentality. Again, I'm talking to my experienced actors here. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking about transitioning from Broadway to television. I know I have a ton of Broadway actors and I've been there too, who have killed killed the Broadway scene or the regional theater scene. You've killed it. And now you're like, how do I transition to film and television? Because I share my story all the time of how I had zero credits. I came off tour with Lion King, was like, yo, what's up? I'm in LA. And they were like, I don't care. Where are your TV credits? And I went through a really dark, depressing time with that. Wednesday, I'm going to talk to you about embracing your power on set. Um, and one of these days, I'm going to have a surprise guest who um, actually um, – I met yesterday at a dinner, um, shout out to my friend Kina Ferguson, 
who I got to meet a bunch of beautiful actresses yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna have a surprise guest this week, but also then Thursday, I'm gonna talk about collaborating with your representation because also on this middle tier, you're at a place of collaboration. For my new actors, what's up Instagram, I see you. I just, um, I can't respond to every question, but for my new actors, you go through a stage, you're just happy to have freaking representation. And I don't think the kids are up right now, so if I curse, please excuse me, because you know, it's grown people's time. <laughs> but you know, in the beginning, you're just like, I'm happy to have representation, I'm happy to have someone who's representing me, and you're so scared to do anything, or to push the button, or ask questions. So when you get to the middle tier, you get to a point where you realize you're really collaborating. And I want to explore that. So that's Thursday. Come Friday, I'm going to talk about how to train casting directors. And yes, I said that the way I meant to say it. How to train casting directors. There's a whole, ooh, a, it's going to get deep on that. Saturday, I'm going to talk about acting full time. And I'm going to talk about the money. Because here's what I know that no one has ever told me. No one has ever told me about the money. Has anyone told y'all about the money? No, your friends keep it a secret. Everybody keeps it a secret. Now I ain't here to tell you about all, you, I'm not here to put you in my wallet, but I am gonna tell you about the reality of the money. Because when I was a newer actor, and I say newer, and I mean, when I, and when I talk to you guys, I really mean, for me, new to TV and new to this world. You know, I had an aspiration like, ooh, when I'm a guest star, I'm gonna do blank. When I'm a series regular, ooh wee, wait, just wait and see. And there's a big difference between, you know, a, a one day guest star and Viola Davis. There's a big gap. And I want to talk to y'all about some real numbers. So that's Saturday. And then come our seventh day, I'm going to talk about creating your own success. So that's what the week ahead looks like. So please turn on notifications. If you are not subscribed to me in any way, this is your time to do it. You do not want to miss anything that I'm sharing with you this week. Not one single bit, especially Instagram. I'm not on here often. I don't even know how you subscribe. Just find me a Hollywood bound actors on Facebook <laughs> because Instagram, I'm still learning Instagram. So I don't even know how you, you, you um, turn on notifications for me, but that's what I'm talking about. And so if that is of interest of you, keep watching. Let me take a sip of water from my best day ever cup. What's up, you guys? I want you guys to rep your city, Instagram, Facebook. You know, I tell people I coach hundreds of actors around the globe, but I want, I want to know. I know I, some of you are in Atlanta, Chicago, the UK. Hash, I want you to put your city or your country in the comments. I don't care if you're on Instagram, if you're on Facebook. Right now, put your city in the comments so I know where you're watching from. And the reason why I don't just do that just for fun, I really want to know where you guys are so that I can assist you more. You know, I have experience working in New York, Atlanta, um, and uh, LA, and it really helps me to know where you guys are watching from. And so when you ask questions, I can uh, get really specific to that industry. What's up, Jane? I see you on Instagram. Uh, Elliot, Clarissa, Marilly, yes. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Give me a second. Whoo, it's hot in here. Y'all, it's been an amazing day. God's amazing. I'm so glad to connect with each and every one of you. What's up, Florida in the house, LA, New York. Uh, got Atlanta, North Carolina, New York, Chicago. Awesome. So let me get into today's content. So here's what I know. So today I want to talk about creating a guest star and series regular mentality. And before I dive, in, dive deeper into that, I just want to talk a little bit more about my middle, my middle ground. And again, if this is your first time watching, this is episode 127. If you are behind on any of these episodes, be sure to just click my name, honey, and come on over to uh, <laughs> Hollywood Bound Actors, go to my page and just binge and get, get your life. You know, right now is a slow season <clears throat> for actors, slower. You know, I still have an audition here and there, but uh, this is a great time to not just be caught up in the beach and be caught up in getting the tan and getting your hair done. You know, black girls, we got to get our hair done in the summer because we got to get in the pool. So we get our protective styles, right? Let's not get caught up in just the summertime fun. I want to make sure that you are using this time to plot and plan and strategize and think about what you can do for this next six months. Episodic season is going to pick back up in late July, August. And I want you to use some of the strategies I'm giving you this week to really help you in that. So when you're working as a co-star 
and I know some of you, again, this is for my, I'm just going to skip ahead and only talk to my experienced actors. So I want you to forgive me ahead of time. If you're like, Christine, what you talking about? I haven't had X, Y, or Z. Just stay tuned and put a little mental note in the back for when this is, applies to you. Um, when you are operating from a co-star mentality, what's up, Sabrina? I see you watching. <laughs> Shout out to all my moms and dads, all my momagers and what do you call the dads? Dadagers? That don't sound cute at all. But all my parents who are pushing their kids and working with them to get to their next level. You know, I have Sabrina, I have Kashada, I got Tanika, you know, and I tell all my parents who I, uh, who I coach that this is not just for them. This is not just for their kid. This is for them. Like you're doing this with your child. Like this is y'all's career. So I'm going to give a shout out to y'all because you have, you guys have to translate what I'm saying so that your child can get it which is awesome. But when you're operating from a co-star mentality, your job as a co-star, in case you didn't know, is to show up, say your lines, and go home. You make the star look good. I've talked about this before. You've heard me talk about this. But I want to dig deeper into this today on day one of this seven-day series because I'm going to, everything I talk about will build upon this mentality. Because you've been working a bunch of co-stars, and even if your co-star is recurring, there's, a, there's not a whole lot of expectation from you as a co-star. Your expectation is to show up, say your lines, don't mess up, don't hold up production, time is money, be ready to go, and then go home. You may not even get, the director may not even talk to you directly. They may look past you. I can't tell you how many times that's happened. The director's like, the star of the show is like right here and the director's like looking there. They're not even looking at me. You're like, hi, I'm, I exist too, I'm a human. You actually had to approve me to get here, but now you're acting like I don't exist. I, I always, that always baffles me. But just know, just for your, for, your, for your heart, know that that director had to approve you to get on set. You were not on set by mistake. I don't care if you got two words. I don't care if you have, uh, the doctor will see you now. You were approved by that director. You were approved by the producer, the casting director, the network. You were approved by everybody, which is why I teach my students to make sure that your self tapes are the bomb, to make sure that everything you do is top quality because you are approved. So even when they don't even acknowledge your existence and you're standing in front of them in their project, your job is to kill it. Your job is to kill it and not hold up production. Because let me tell you something. You fuck up your lines. You don't, you don't do what's right. They will get on that phone, honey, and call that casting office. They'll be like, who is this? Who is Tarnisha? Who is Lee Hansen? Who is Gregory Williams? Who is Jane? Who is Candy Joel? Like, who, who, who sent them? They don't know how to, they're not good. So I'm just saying that so you have that in the background. Even at, as, an, as a co-star, I expect not to be noticed. I'm going to do a bomb job because a lot of times, you know, we get caught up in the billing. And when I talk about the billing, for, again, let me not explain because I, I promise I only talk to my experienced actors today. You already know what I mean. Sometimes your billing may be co-star, but your role was actually guest star. Hello, anybody, especially in my Southeast actors, I know you know this. I saw one of my good friends on a show, Kevin Probably Saves the World. And I was like, that's a guest star, but he's billed as a co-star. What's up with that? Anyway, don't get me started on, on that. But as a co-star, it's just like, be quiet, say your lines, and go home. But what I want to get you guys ready for is that guest star series regular mentality. And what does that mean? That means you are expected to show up with purpose, with ideas, knowing what your character feels like, talks like, walks like, what would they wear? What color is her nail polish? Does he have a fade? Does he have a goatee? Like, I mean, like you're, you walk into costumes, they're looking for input. That's what happens at that level. That's what happens at that level. So I want you to prepare you guys now to take the scary pants, put your big girl and your big boy panties on. You know, today on my Facebook page and my Hollywood Bond Actors group, I said, what are you so afraid of? 
What was I so afraid of? We have to put all the stuff that we were afraid of behind when it's time for us to step into a guest star series regular mentality. And when you show up to an audition or when you show up to your self tape with a co-star mentality of, I just got to get these lines down. I've got to do just enough. It's going to prove that you're not ready for that next level, next level producers, next level directors, next level casting directors are looking for you to bring a little something extra to the table because maybe all they did give you was two pages for your scene. Will you be the actor who shows up with a little something extra? My shout out to all my private clients, all my Booking Magnet Academy members. Sh shout out to all my Hollywood bound actors because I teach you guys, what is the secret that you're hiding? What is it that no one else knows? I teach you guys that at a co-star level actually to come in with that. But I'm telling you now, I want you to hear from me, your job is to do that. Some of you had a chance to see me play uh, Harriet Tubman on Timeless on Mother's Day. Yes, that was an awesome experience. But let me tell you something about that. When I auditioned for that role, it was three short scenes. When I got to that table read, honey, that script was like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, another scene. Oh, and another. Oh, and another. Oh, and another one. And no one called me to be like, Christine, you want to rehearse or go over it? or No. I had to show up with my own ideas about Harriet Tubman, with my own research. No one's gonna tell me to research. No one's gonna tell me what books to read. No one's gonna tell me how to represent this iconic freaking American hero. No one is going to do your job for you. So this, the groundwork that I try to lay with all of you, thank you for the love, I see it. The groundwork I try to lay with all of you at the co-star level is only going to uh, escalate when you get to the guest star series regular level because no one's going to tell you how to do your job. You are expected to show up with ideas. You are expected to say, you know what? This line here, you know, I mean, <laughs> this line here, she wouldn't say that. You have the power. And I know the fear of God is put into you when you're a co-star to, to shut up and be quiet. But step one of getting to your next level is that you have the power to say, hey, writer, I'm making, let's say the writer's name is John. Hey, John, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah, what's up, Christine? You know, I see this line here where you say, um, what y'all doing over here? I just feel like, you know, she's been through so much, you know, she grew up in, in Boston and I don't even feel like she would have that kind of that twang of that, that, you know, and, and she just went into this argument with, with, with this other character here. I just, it doesn't feel real in that moment. I feel like she would be really to herself and isolated. And I feel like she wouldn't say anything. Maybe she just looks at him. Let me tell you guys, writers love that. Now, they don't want you rewriting their whole shit, of course, but they love when you bring something to the table. That means you did your job developing this character and it forces them to say, hmm, let's try it. Maybe that's, that's a good idea. You get to have a dialogue at this level. And that's what I want you guys to understand and embrace. At this level, at the guest star series regular level, you get to have a dialogue. You no longer just shut up and be quiet and say your three lines or your one page. Do y'all get that? Let me get some hearts. Let me get some likes. Let me get some amens. I get it. Hoping to experience that one day. Let me hear, let me see Facebook, Instagram. I'm going to take one second to drink some water because y'all know I get hyped. I'm going over my 15 minutes. Ah, I got to wrap this up. I got to wrap this up. I promised myself I was going to stay at 15 minutes and I know I've already I know for been over 15 minutes. What's up, TC? I see you. What's up, Denise? Cynthia? Uh, let me go to Instagram. Hey, Miranda Equality, Wiggins, Food with Farah, Jane Sings. Food. <laughs> yes. Thank you for the love. You'll know the reason why I have to tell myself to say it 15 minutes because I will talk for three hours and I can't. I can't. I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot. So here's the deal. <laughs> but really says, girl, intro alone was 15 minutes. <laughs> yes, but really, I know. I know. But really, <laughs> but really is one of my clients. Shout out to Marilly, y'all. If you need a beautiful Latina actress, look for Marilly Kateri, honey. I've been coaching her for a minute. She's awesome. Okay. 
just for that, I'm going to go. I'm, this is over. This is a wrap. Listen, if you have questions, I want you to leave them in the thread. Um, if you're on Instagram, DM me. I will respond to you. If you're on Facebook, um, make sure <laughs> make sure you ask a question in the thread. I will respond even if you're watching the replay. Yes, I'm sweating. I'm not afraid to wipe it. Listen, so here's the deal. If you're just joining, if you're joining late, and it, you can also, of course, watch this replay. But for the next seven days, I'm only talking to my experienced actors. I have something totally awesome in store. Um, I'm opening up five spaces for experienced actors who are ready to go to their guest star series regular level. And I have something uh, that is really, um, really game changing. And if you are ready to have Christine hold your hand in that process, I want you to email me. I want you to uh, go to Coach with Chris. No, it's not Coach with Chris. It's Coach Me Chris. The link if you're on Facebook is above. Coach Me Chris. You can apply to get a call with me, and we can talk more about it. I'm going to talk about it all this week. Um, Instagram, CoachMeChris.com. Um, if you want to schedule a session and apply to talk with me about going to your next level. This is not for newbies. This is not for you if you've only had a co-star or two. This is for my next levels who... Um, want to finally live off this career, want to finally make um, full-time income, want to know what it's like to get residual guest star series regular income, and just need some help and strategy in getting it to it. Maybe you've reached a plateau, a, a stuck point in your career. Maybe you took time off for kids or family or whatever it is, life happens. Um, but if nothing else, join me the, the rest of this week where I talk specifically to you, my group two people. Not my newbies trying to get an agent, trying to get an audition. Not my third tier who already has it and just trying to find that balance. I'm talking to my middle ground who feel a little bit stuck and um, need some help. Go to coachmechris.com and uh, connect with me. I'm going to go because Marilee called me out for having a too long session. So if you wanted me to talk more, it's Marilee's. No, I'm, I'm teasing you, Marilee. I love you. But seriously, I didn't want to go past that time. I have my own studying to do. But catch me tomorrow. Turn on notifications because I don't know what time I'm going live tomorrow. Tomorrow's t Monday. No, I got the 911 event tomorrow, the Emmy event. So tomorrow I'm going live earlier before I go. So I'm going to go live during the day tomorrow. I know that for sure. And just know it's okay if you miss it, you can watch the replay. Um, I love you guys. Keep, you know, let, I'm going to go, I'm going to say this before I go, before I'm going to really get on me for talking too long. <laughs> really, I'm totally picking on you. Um, I'm picking on her really because she's not on Facebook anymore. She was like, Christine, I'm not on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. Um, but listen, leave your comments, leave your questions. When I say that I really want to hear from you, I'm serious. My team assists me in collecting questions. Do not inbox me on Facebook because that gets lost. Go to the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group and join. If you're not a member, it's a free group. Join and, and get trained and connect with other beautiful people. Um, but I, I truly believe in each and every one of you. I know you all at our different levels, but I have to talk to my middle group this week because they're, I know that I've been hearing that they're missing some attention and some love. Um, stay encouraged, stay encouraged, hold on to your why, hold on to your reason for being here. You know, there's a lot of, de you know, deceptive moments that will creep up as you're in this career. You know, you will question what the hell you're doing, especially when you're a grown up and you're supposed to be making grown up money and have grown up insurance and grown up, you know, experiences. You know, you may find yourself praying to God at night to take the dream away. You may find yourself at night saying, God, give me anything else to believe in. Take this away. I know what that feels like. I used to work a nine to five. I worked a freaking five to 10. Then I was still hustling and I was still doing auditions. And I would pray, God, if there's anything else I should be doing, God, please reveal it to me. Please reveal it to me because this is too much. I don't feel that way anymore, but I'm speaking to you. 
I'm speaking to you so that you know that I know where you have been. I know what that feels like, but I also know what the other side of it looks like. Every time I talk to you guys, I give you an opportunity to say, it's okay to tap out. It's okay to be like, I'm good. It's okay to be like, you know what? I need a year from me. I told y'all about my friend who took a year off and she's like, fuck that, Christine. I got a good job. I'm getting some benefits, Lord. I want money in my bank account, God. And she decided to just take some time. And I said, girl, that's okay. Love on your husband. Embrace that new relationship. This acting career ain't going nowhere. They need you till you die. Cicely Tyson is still working, y'all. Every time, y'all, every time I see Cicely Tyson, I be like, Cicely Tyson is still working. So don't think there's a rush. I hear some of y'all telling me, y'all email me, I feel like it's too late. My beautiful Denise Armstrong in my Hollywood Vine Actors group, beautiful seasoned woman. Beautiful gray hair, honey, serving it up for the camera. It ain't too late. So if you need time off, take that time off. Live your life. This shit ain't going nowhere. This, and I know I'm supposed to be going, God, Marilly. I know I'm supposed to be going. But y'all, I get, I get so em emotional because I have been in all these places I have been in all these stages, so I feel you. I feel you even when you're not talking to me. I feel y'all even when you're not commenting. I feel y'all when you I feel y'all when you are silent. I feel you. I get it. So I always give you an out. You can always tap out. You can tap out and tap back in. I have so many clients who have tapped back in. Shout out to Farah who just signed up to work with me. You can always tap back in. You can take time off. Some of you have been so drained from doing Broadway and theater and touring. You're like, oh, I'm just tired. And I'm like, it's okay. You can tap out and then tap back in. And then holla at me when you're ready. I want you to hear that. But I, I believe that I am standing here. God has put me here to show you there's another side of it. And also that... <laughs> When you need a break, you need a break. But then I'm not gonna give you an excuse when you say you wanna do it. Now don't tell me you wanna do it, honey, because I will call you out and let's do it. You ready to play, let's play. Because I know, I know the rules to the game. As I told someone on the phone the other day, I'll help you skip the line. You can learn from my mistakes. You can learn from the things that got me stuck. You can skip the line with me if you want me to. You can hold my hand and I will guide you. And if that's you, if you're that, if you're in that, my second group that I'm talking to this week, click the link above coachmechris.com and uh, jump on the phone with me. Um, only if you're serious, because I don't play, I don't play games. So <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm going to go as my cup says, keep making it the best day ever. I know it's the end of the night, especially for my East coast people. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Catch me tomorrow where I talk about transitioning from Broadway to television. Um, and that's going to be a big one because that was me. That was me. If you found this helpful, share this video. Like, DM me on Instagram. I'm going to sim simultaneously end this. <laughs> I'm going to try anyway. Have an amazing night. I see you Facebook. Good night. <laughs>